How's it going guys and welcome to the channel. We certainly hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far, but if you're not, then maybe we'll be able to cheer you up since today we're going to be talking about the eight most desperate people to have ever come into the gold and silver pawn shop. Before we get into that, if you love Pawn Stars, let us know by hitting the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you can be notified whenever we release our daily videos. If you subscribe, make sure to let us know in the comment section below so that you can be featured in a video shout out at the end of the month. And with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into the eight most desperate people to have ever come into the gold and silver pawn shop. Number one, Japanese Katana. Got a surprise for you. Okay. Over two years ago, I sent a samurai sword to Japan to get fully restored. Finally, it's back in the States. As it turns out, Rick from the show Pawn Stars is a huge fan of Japanese swords. When Rick finally got to get his hands on one of his favorite 1600 Japanese katanas, he set out to get it restored. After the two years that it took to get the sword properly restored, Rick was incredibly glad to finally have it back. The same day that the sword came in, Dan White also stepped into the pawn shop. Dan White is the UFC president and he was looking for swords for his weapon room. Chum Lee had brought Dan White Rick's very own sword. Corey told Dane that it was not for sale and Dane had replied that he would pay big bucks for it. Dane ended up paying $60,000 for it along with giving some other swords. I guess when there's something that you want more than anything else, then you're willing to pay practically anything to get it. Rick must have not been very happy over any of this, especially considering that Chum Lee is a bit of a problem on the Pawn Stars cast. He has been known to buy items that aren't worth a whole lot for quite a bit of money. At least in this situation, he was able to, at the very least, earn the store a lot of money, even if it was with someone else's own merchandise. You know what? That's a deal I can't refuse. All right, um, it's going to take me a little while to package everything up, so okay. can you come back in a little while? Number two, Gibson Guitar. What do we got here? This is the most beautiful acoustic guitar you have ever seen. A Gibson Custom Shop SJ200. Oh, a man walked into the pawn shop to sell his US Open themed Gibson guitar. The man said that he did not want it since it was apparently hideous to look at. The man offered $5,000 for it, but Chum Lee and him didn't see eye to eye. The seller asked if he could see an expert, but Chum Lee had other plans and asked for $3,500. The guy honestly didn't care how much they would give him, so he took the offer, since he was so desperate to simply get rid of the ugly guitar. Honestly though, if you're in a situation where you're so desperate to get rid of that guitar, why not just give it to me? I'll take it and sell it to the pawn shop and get $3,500. That would honestly catch me up on most of my bills. There's no need for you to have to take the time to do so. Just let literally anybody else do it. I mean, it's an ugly guitar you don't want, right? Anyways. Drop to 48. I, I really don't want to move for my price. All right, deal. Number three comic strip. A gentleman came into the pawn shop to sell his prized possession, his vintage Spider-Man comic strip that was signed by John Romita and the famous Stan Lee himself. The man wanted to sell it for $10,000, but Chum Lee had decided to go see an expert for the piece instead. It's an incredibly good thing he did, considering that Chum Lee normally doesn't have the habit of grabbing an expert. He usually tries to consider prices on his own, which is one of his biggest failings on Pawn Star. Chum Lee and the seller both went to see an expert to find out if his comic strip was actually officially signed by Stan Lee. While waiting in line to see the expert, Chum Lee had finally came to a deal with the seller of $5,000 after knowing that the expert was Stan Lee. The seller was desperate to get as much money out of the comic as he could, but he changed his mind when he saw Stan Lee himself. And honestly, we can't really blame him, considering that if you had something signed by a famous person, the best expert to determine whether or not you had that person's signature would be the person who wrote it himself. Number 4. Psycho TV Watch a man had brought his favorite Psycho TV watch that he had only used twice when he was 10. He asked for $800 for it since it was from the 1980s and it was in great condition. Chum Lee said that the offer was ridiculous and that he already had a hard time selling one that was exactly like it for $300. 
In the end, they ended up settling on $175. There seems to be a lot of Chum-Li negotiating deals very well on this list, which is good considering that normally his track record isn't quite so stellar. In fact, him and the old man have gotten into several a spat on the show due to him being notorious for losing the pawn shop money. But at least so far, it does seem like he has his days where he does his due diligence. Number 5. Victorian Era Saw Handle Pistols An elderly man was hoping to sell his Victorian Era Saw Handle dual pistols for big bucks. The man asked for $8,000 for them. Due to seeing the wear and tear due to aging, that price was honestly fairly unrealistic. Since the pistols were in rough shape, the deal ultimately came down to $3,300. We can definitely understand, considering that in a situation like this, you're dealing with an item that would be incredibly expensive if it were kept in its mint condition. Even though it's a vintage item, that wear and tear does tend to destroy the value on anything. I mean, have you ever tried to sell a trading card to anyone after you've damaged it? It practically destroys any price that item might have once had. Whenever you have an item that is old and worth an incredible amount of money, it is usually best to take really good care of it, just in case you want to sell it later, or just in general considering that it's a valuable item you might want to make sure that you're taking good care of it. Number 6. Dennis Rodman Jerseys One day, a woman came in selling Dennis's jerseys in the pawn shop to get money for her daughter's tuition. The employee was suspicious on how this woman got her hands on an original hand-signed set of jerseys. The woman then stated that she was actually an ex-wife of Dennis Rodman, a famous NBA basketball player. Since the jerseys had sentimental value and were originals, she was asking $80,000 for all of them. But obviously, to the Pawn Star crew, that amount was kind of unbelievable. In the end, the woman walked away with only $4,300. That's several times less what she originally wanted to sell the jerseys for. You can understand, though, but it does kind of suck if they did in fact have that kind of sentimental value to her. Sometimes there are things that you just don't want to get rid of, but when it comes to finances, you sometimes have to just make do with what you can. At least she did manage to get some money for her daughter's tuition. Number 7. Super Mario Statue A man by the name of Caesar decided to sell his favorite Super Mario statue. Caesar was selling the Super Mario statue because his girlfriend apparently didn't like it. In all honesty, I think that he should have chosen the statue over the girlfriend, since when it comes to video games, if they don't like what you're doing, then you can probably just keep the video games. Those are forever after all, and girlfriends are temporal. But unfortunately, in order to keep his girlfriend happy, he offered the shop $1,000. Chum Lee was blown away by this offer since it wouldn't be anywhere close to that number if it was actually worth the price that he was asking. Chum Lee offered the man $550, but the seller wasn't happy with the price and just left the statue behind. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. We understand if you have to get rid of the statue, obviously you have to make sure that you don't just bring it back if you want to make your girlfriend happy. Not that we agree that that was the right choice in the first place. But if there's money on the table, there's really no point in just letting it sit there unless you want to be incredibly petty. Then again, he had to get rid of his statue because of an incredibly petty girlfriend, so I guess we understand that in situations like this, sometimes feelings are mutual. Number 8. Babe Ruth Mitt The pawn shop was offered and originally owned by Babe Ruth Baseball Mitt with his signature on the glove. The seller offered $1,000 for it, and since he had a deep connection with it, he wanted to make sure that he got the price he was asking for. Chum Lee said that it wasn't actually worth that much, even though the seller had already done his own research, seeing that the Mitt was worth in the thousands. The real reason why the seller was asking so much was that he had personally overpaid for the mitt himself. Eventually, though, they met halfway with a $500 price tag. At least it's not as bad as giving up on the entire transaction and just dropping the mitt in the store and leaving it there like the guy did with the Super Mario statue. But that has been the eight most desperate people to ever come into the pawn shop. 
We hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a like and share it with your friends, as it really does help the channel out. Also, let us know which situation you found to be the most compelling. You can do that in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you can be notified whenever videos come out every day. And make sure to let us know if you subscribe in the comment section below so that you can be featured in a video shout out at the end of the month. All that out of the way, we hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you in the next one.